Hey everybody, Pat Kelly here of Mad River Outfitters and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a simple Crafter Clouser Minnow. Well, today we're going to be tying a simple Crafter Clouser Minnow. Uh, <clears throat> very effective fly, easy to fish, easy to tie, quick to tie, you can tie a bunch of them, fill your box. Um, if you like this tutorial and you want to see more like it, or if you have an idea for a tutorial you'd like to see us tie, be sure to leave a, a comment down below. So let's go ahead and jump on in. The hook we're using today is the uh, ever popular Gamagatsu B10S uh, size 4 on this particular pattern. I'm going to tie it a little bit smaller today. Uh, so we got that in the vise. Uh, like most of my patterns, I like to start the thread right behind the eye and work a thread base all the way back to uh, about the barb and then you can kind of come back forward um, about two-thirds of the way up and stop right about where we're going to uh, mount the lead eyes for this particular pattern so that's a good rule of thumb with any clouser minnow whatever hook you're using just take and go about a third of the way back from the eye and that's about where you want to have your uh, your lead eyes uh, or whatever eyes you happen to be using when you're tying the clouser the uh, particular size that we're using is a small uh, lead eye from hairline. This is the double pupil. Um, if you don't use those, you won't catch as many fish. They just look a lot cooler. <clears throat> Go ahead and mount that on the top of the hook shank. Kind of start by making some just cross wraps just to kind of hold it in place and then come back the other direction. Make a few more. And then once you kind of got that right about where you want it, kind of make some posting wraps. And just lock that in place and maybe a few more figure eight wraps a couple more posting wraps looks good all right now at this point not a bad idea to just add a little bit of uh, super glue just to kind of hold everything in place make them a little more durable if you're bass fishing this fly is going to be banging up against rocks and trees and all sorts of stuff so having a little uh a little resin or glue in there to hold everything in place is, is helpful. All right, first color that we're going to tie on top is actually going to be the belly of the fly. Just when it's in the water, it'll kind of invert itself, so it'll be riding like this. So go ahead and um, today we're doing kind of a, a drab gray olive over an off white or a cream, just a good clear water color. You can tie this in any color combination you want. Uh, just a good rule of thumb with any clouser or bait fish, just make sure it's dark over light. That's always a great place to start. So. We're going to start with the cream colored uh, crapper. This is the extra select from Hairline. This is what I use. Got a lot of length, a lot of movement. It's just the best product out there that we've found and the most consistent. So go ahead and take a pretty healthy chunk. And then before we tie it in, we're going to take a comb and just get all of that under fur out of there. That's not going to do you any good and just going to make it more difficult to tie the pattern or tie the material down to the hook. Excuse me. You want to get all of that crap out of there. If you need to, kind of hold it up to the pattern just to make sure you're at the length that you want. Uh, I'm shooting for about two and a half times the, the length of the hook shank. Go ahead and just trim those butts nice and even. So we're going to hold our material just kind of right over the eye. Once that's kind of locked in place there, you'll bring your thread behind the eye and then come up and over top of the hook shank and just to lash that down. And I'll just kind of make open spiral wraps about back to the, uh, kind of in between the barb and the hook point. And then I'll bring my thread back forward. Now at this point we can, if you want to, you can lay again a little bit of resin, a little bit of zap just to make those thread wraps uh, kind of protected so that they don't cut and break while you're fishing. Flip the fly over. <clears throat> I like to add a little bit of flash at this point. You can use uh, whatever you like. I'm using a kind of a mixture of lateral scale and the rainbow colored flashaboo from Hedron. So I'll go ahead and kind of just take those, fold them around your thread, bring it up top. just kind of split it 
do your best to split it around the hook. And we can just trim that just a little bit longer than the crafter wing. Now we'll bring our thread back forward and we'll reach for our darker color. This is the gray olive. Try to shoot for about the same size chunk that you did for the belly. A lot of times I'll just put a small little drop of Z-Mint down on the thread right before I lay this on here and it just helps bond the crafter to the uh, to the hook and also prevents it from slipping and sliding around when you're trying to lock it in. Here, just take your scissors, botkin, whatever you got, just kind of fold it around the hook. And that's it. Go ahead and whip finish. A little bit of glue just for good measure. And that is it. That is the Crafter Clouser Minnow. Super easy to tie again. Great fishy pattern, easy to fill your box. You can tie them in a tons of different colors. Um, all the materials that you see uh, that I used to tie this will be down and linked below. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in. Check it out at madriveroutfitters.com. The new Mad River Outfitters campfire mugs make coffee taste better.